everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia and you are watching XO Alicia Marie. I am over 40. I am right now 44. <laughs> As my son likes to say, mommy, you're 44. <laughs> I'm like, thank you. Um, he's five years old, so he's, you know, very much enunciating some things. So anyways, I am really excited to finally bring you part two of the video that I started almost two years ago, actually. And what's crazy about that video is when I first did that, I really just genuinely wanted to help other people find the over 40 YouTubers because I was looking for those over 40 YouTubers. And y'all, for a long time, I wanna say like a good year, it was kinda just flying under the radar on my YouTube channel while I had another one kind of going viral. Um, the other one is the um, What's In My Bag Over 40 edition, and that one right now has over 12,000 views, maybe a little bit more than that. And that was my leading video for quite some time. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> I started to look at my stats again, which I don't look at very often, but now I've learned to look at them and kind of get some feedback. And I was like, wow, this one has over 15,000 views. And that's how YouTube works sometimes, y'all. You put out a video and for a good year, it may not be the leading video. And then all of a sudden it is just being catapulted algorithm wise. So here I am doing part two. If you haven't watched my part one, which is the, you know, five over, uh, five over 40 YouTubers that I follow and, you know, sure I could make this into like a 30 second TikTok, but the truth is I wanted to give you a little bit of background as to who you're watching. And then of course, you know, I kind of put their uh, information on the side of the screen, which I probably will do right over here. So anyways, let's get started. May I point out ahead of, ahead of time, as you can see, my son loves to line up his toys like it's a battle scene right in front of the television. And I think it's so cute. So, you know, it doesn't really bother me anymore. I leave them up there. We're still sharing a one bedroom apartment. So, and a bedroom. <laughs> so he doesn't really have his own room, his own playroom. And I'm sure he sees all of mommy's things lying around the house because I do have a handmade skincare business. By the way, my product is finally on Amazon. It's badgirlbalm.com. So I started making tattoo balm and then now I've kind of started making other things and I'm currently formulating things which take time to test, which is why I'm able to kind of juggle my other side hustles right now. Speaking of side hustles, there will be another video about side hustles in the future. And if you haven't seen the other video that I just posted on the fact that I just lost my job about three weeks ago, third time I've been laid off since the pandemic, very scary as a single mom, y'all. So I am going to finally look at this as a, as, as a way of God and the universe is just pushing me to really challenge myself. And the biggest part of that challenge is I really want to do YouTube more. I just keep having these speed bumps or hiccups throughout my day. And I've really been doing some leveling up. I just got done reading Atomic Habits and it has been a game changer for me. I will do a full review of that book because I've officially now had two other friends go purchase that book because I have just raved about how it's changed my life. And thank God I started reading the book before I lost my job because when I lost my job, I was already in the mindset of, you know what? I'm completely uh, self-employed now, which I like to say instead of saying unemployed. Um, so now this is my opportunity yet again to cash in on really making a life that I want to live. So with that being said, let's get on with this video. Sorry for the long intro. I love to chat, okay? <laughs> I'm a 17 year real estate professional, so it is kind of my forte. I have the gift of gab. So you can see me read from some notes just because I might have to remember one little snippet, but for the most part, I remember all these people off the top of my head because they have made a huge impression on me and there's a reason why obviously I'm suggesting them to you because I subscribe to them as well. 
So, okay, the first one is the universe guru. Her name is Mina. And um, y'all, she's actually got YouTube, two YouTube channels. One is mostly about feminine femininity, feminine energy, more about relationships and dating, and very specifically about attracting men. And she even goes into a lot of uh, cases where she talks specifically about her husband. And once in a blue moon, her husband will actually come on to our, one of her videos. And I just love that she's really putting it out there that her and her husband are consciously coupling, which is a new phrase I learned this year. Conscious coupling or conscious dating is basically where you are really making that conscious effort to uh, you know, either fix things about yourself, correct things about yourself, you know, uh, and, and the opposite, you're making a conscious effort to really pick the right people that you're dating and not just, you know, who you get along with. So I love her. She has a whole nother YouTube channel. That's all about business and feminine energy. She goes a lot into talking about how she used to be. Her first marriage was a, she was very masculine in her energy with her first marriage. And she realized that that might've been what caused some issues. And honestly, she has made me realize that, man, you know, a few of dating experiences that I've had as well, I have been living so much in my masculine energy. I mean, just being in a real estate for 17 years, I've been a realtor three times, a property manager. I've worked mostly with men, around men, and you naturally just, you naturally just kind of grasp that masculine energy when you are in a sales position. So, you know, but there's nothing wrong with that. She teaches you how to take that masculine energy and basically how to turn it on and turn it off. And I've just been fascinated with learning about feminine energy for the last two years. And I feel like, you know, every six months, I feel like there's just something new that I'm learning about it. And one of the things I learned from Mina was you can have masculine energy and be in business and still have feminine energy. You just have to really learn how to turn it on and turn it off. And that's what she, she really gives specific examples. And you guys, there's so much value packed in her videos. Her videos are straight up 45 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour. I have even watched her videos for like an hour and a half. And mind you, sometimes I'm listening to them because I want to hear her so badly that I will, you know, I'm, I'm not really watching YouTube. I'm actually listening to YouTube, but like, I just love hearing her speak. And it, it will, you know, if you have not learned about feminine energy and masculine energy and, and all that stuff, it is really shocking to a lot of people, especially the women with a lot of masculine energy that feel they have to have masculine energy. And it's usually for the fact that they want to protect themselves from a past experience or just, you know, not going through something again or being taken advantage of. So I really, really love how deep she goes into stuff and she's not a licensed therapist y'all. And, but you know what? Let me just tell you something. I have been to licensed therapists and I feel I have learned and healed myself and a lot of things about my old ways from watching YouTube. It's from watching real people with real examples telling you about their experience, just like I'm doing right now. So anyways, go check her out. She's based out of Houston, so I gotta give her another shout out cause I'm right here in Austin, Texas and I'm actually born and raised in Houston. So I'm an H-Town girl. So anyways, my next YouTuber that we're gonna talk about is Angela Michelle. She's an African-American woman over 50. She is so freaking awesome. Her first, the first thing you notice is how professional her videos are filmed. I sometimes wanna ask her, what camera are you using? Number two, she has a fabulous closet, okay? Um, I love her videos because she does talk a lot about relationships, dating, 
feminine energy, specifically, you know, being a woman, lifestyle, a lot of fashion as well. And what I love about her videos is from time to time, you will see her kind of talk to her husband. So I guess her, obviously her husband is behind the camera. And I actually think she mentioned that in a video once. I think she talked about that her husband is actually filming the videos, which I think is just freaking awesome. And uh, as I am desiring a man that just can embrace the fact that I am an entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial type of woman, because I personally have dated several men and ladies, you don't find this stuff out until sometimes when you're a few months into the relationship, but you will find that there are a lot of men that are, that will be uncomfortable with the fact that you are pursuing something that is very open, very public, like filming on YouTube. She is so drop dead gorgeous. Again, she's over 50 and you know, it's just, it, it's amazing that, you know, as I got older, especially in my thirties, I realized like being over 40 is not as old as you think. And it really is about how you feel. Angela really teaches you about, you know, showing off your body, but of course, very tasteful. And with that being said, that's why she incorporates a lot of fashion in, in her videos. So go check her out, Angela Michelle. Of course, I am putting all these people's links in the show notes down below. So don't worry about taking notes, just click, click, click. <laughs> the next person I wanna talk about is Beauty by Lisa. Actually, I think it's Beauty by Lisa 101. The first thing you'll notice about Lisa, at least for me, is, oh my gosh, she looks like JLo. She looks like she could be a different slight version of a different version of JLo or maybe JLo's, you know, cousin or something. She is over 50. She also has a, a lot of things I've noticed in her videos is she really goes into how you know, she really has a lot of gray hair underneath, underneath her hair color. And she does go through a lot of hair. She has a lot of hair videos that goes through like different colors and styles of her hair, but she is still trying to embrace coloring her hair. And I think maybe, I think she, I saw a video. Or I've watched so many of her videos. I think one of her videos was finally embracing her gray maybe and getting the gray uh the gray highlights done type of thing she is a lot about makeup skincare and fashion she's gorgeous y'all she's absolutely gorgeous and all i can say is i admire these women that are over 50 i am hoping that if you're watching this video and that you start a YouTube channel, okay? Because let me tell you, it is needed, you guys. This is gonna be a side note. The, up until a certain point, I was even intimidated about starting a YouTube channel. And then when I started my YouTube channel and I did that first video called, you know, oh, uh, five YouTubers over 40 that I follow, and then noticing that it took off, I realized that there are so many people that need this, okay? Men and women, they need this because we did not literally grow up on YouTube like the people, more of the people in their 30s and their 20s. And of course, I don't know with the Gen Gen X, Gen Z, I don't even keep track of like, the. I don't even know what my generation is. I just don't keep track of those, I guess you could say names, those generational names. But as the people that are teenagers and even tweens and teenagers and people in their 20s right now, as they get older, they're going to have so much support on YouTube to go to. Hold on just one second. So the fourth YouTuber over 40 that I follow is a therapist with the most beautiful French accent and her name is Esther Perel or Peril. I'm probably butchering, but it's P-E-R-E-L. I'll put the link in the description down below. She is a hardcore, a relationship therapist. What I really love about all her videos, not every single one, because obviously in the world of relationships and dating, there's different, you know, sections of everything, but she goes a lot into, um, intimacy with your partner. So of course, not just sex, 
but because she's French, obviously in France, women are a little bit more sexually confident. And, uh, you know, she kind of, she kind of lets, you know, lets women be very aware that sex and intimacy is a big part of a relationship in the game of attraction and dating, right? Um, and, you know, with that being said, obviously, you know, have sex when you're ready to have sex. But like, she kind of tells women in a in the most chic way, most chic and mature, womanly way possible to just own into your sexuality. So again, you know, just because we are over 40, just because maybe you've been married and divorced, or just because you have kids does not mean that you just don't do anything with sex anymore. <laughs> so that's the one thing women really need to understand. You know, men obviously can have sex until, you know, they're in their 60s and 70s. And for whatever reason, a lot, you know, I, just from what I've heard, you know, women, or maybe they just don't talk about it. Women don't usually talk about having sex over the age of 40. To me, she's like, I guess you could say like, I mean, if we're, if we're comparing to Sex in the City, She's the Samantha Jones, but of course, Samantha Jones was just way more wild about it. But the truth with that is, you know, it's okay if you're, it's okay if you are a more sexual of a female, you know, it's pretty much just on the way that you handle yourself and what you're doing in your life is what really matters. But um, she really goes into some of her videos pretty much telling women like, pay attention to the way a man is acting or reacting. Now, my personal opinion, there is some truth to that or maybe 50% of the truth. I definitely feel like I've been in relationships where there are moments where I can look back and, you know, kind of feel like maybe I wasn't paying enough attention to the person, but the way the person reacted or overreacted is kind of what cancels out my ability to sympathize on, you know, maybe there was, uh, maybe I wasn't paying enough attention to this person. With that being said, you know, um, there's a lot of relationships that I can't and won't refuse to, is more like it, go back and try to fix. <laughs> because again, it's one thing if, if something isn't working out, it's one thing if one partner is expressing dissatisfaction with the relationship verbally and respectfully, it's quite another if someone overreacts and disrespects while they're overreacting. So again, take that with a grain of salt. You know darn well when you've definitely needed to walk away and stop paying attention to a man, I know because I basically went through that recently earlier this year where I realized, you know, I was giving and doing everything that person was asking of me. But when I asked them to have respectful conversations about issues and not cause drama and throw a fit and cry or get throw this anger demon at me, that person wasn't willing to respect what I needed to continue with the relationship. So. We went our own separate ways and I'm even more happier because nobody needs to live in that kind of stress, right? We're over 40. Uh, we, we already are entering into like the second phase of our lives. We don't need any more stress. So this is kind of why, you know, I just say this. If you feel like you're completely lost and you are hitting close to 40 or you're over 40, you need to dig into some YouTube because YouTube is like my free therapy. Whenever I need to, you know, find advice, get some ideas, inspiration, and about anything, not just dating and relationships, but when I'm even trying to learn the other person's point of view, I will go to YouTube and I will listen with an open ear and an open heart, maybe um, even listen to people that are able to explain someone's behavior more than that person can even explain their own behavior. So I do it all, y'all. I do a lot of dig deeping, uh, dig deeping. I do a lot of deep digging when I am kind of having, you know, an issue in my life. And, uh, 
I go to YouTube. I don't have to bother anybody. There are therapists on YouTube. So if I want to talk to a therapist, I can talk to a therapist. If I want to talk to a pastor, I can find a pastor. That's going to give me the same message from, you know, a godly perspective. And if I just want to talk to somebody that had that same experience, I can go to YouTube and find someone that's talking about that same experience. This is the part where I am going to say social media can be good for you. And uh, for me, it's been a game changer, but it's how you're consuming the content, right? Are you mindlessly watching YouTube videos or are you really looking to learn something? That's why this second part two video is going a little bit more into depth, a little bit more mentally into depth about the people that I follow because I've watched them so much that, you know, I, I wanna express how they've been an influence in my life and hoping I can pass that um, good vibes on to you to also watch them. So Esther Perel, if anything, she's got the most beautiful French accent and I could just listen to her speak all day. Like anything she says just sounds sexy, <laughs> like seriously. And yeah, so I hope you enjoy her. Sorry about the interruption there, y'all. My maintenance guy came to bring a part back into my apartment. So I had to put the video on pause. So my very last YouTuber over 40 that I follow is a man. <laughs> it's not a woman, even though the majority of my YouTubers over 40 that I follow are women. I do follow some men and this is one of them. And this is by far one of the best YouTube channels that I watch for a swift kick in the butt for uh, when it when it comes to dating and relationships and feminine energy is actually a man named R.C. Blakes. He is a pastor out of Houston and his videos are like, this is a compliment when I say this, y'all. His videos are like the father that I never had. Now I do have a dad, he's still alive and kicking, but my dad didn't really talk to me about men and feminine energy and my value and my worth and you know stuff about dating guys um he was a good guy himself so he probably didn't need to feel uh feel the need to have to lecture me about men and you know it's the one thing that i wish i had my mom didn't talk to me about dating and guys my dad didn't talk to me about dating and guys and that might be why I feel like I gravitate towards this person because he is like, um, he's like a father figure type of YouTuber to me, um, very inspirational. And let me tell you, he really breaks it down on everything from the male perspective. And, you know, him and his wife uh, run a church in Houston. And, you know, what's funny is you think she would be the one teaching about dating and relationships and feminine energy, but no, he's the one that does. Although I do believe in God and he goes a little bit into, uh, he will recite some verses here and there, but all of his videos are not, you know, very religious. I mean, it's just the obvious logical, but his topics, um, are, are very specific y'all and his videos can go an hour easy he is an hour easy y'all i could watch his videos like i'm talking to one of my friends <laughs> you know when you just kind of have like a good conversation with a friend whether it's a guy or a girl and y'all just can't stop talking for hours that is why i go to youtube sometimes i need a conversation with someone except when you go to youtube you only get that conversation one way but that's also why people are more inclined to listen because, you know, if you're listening to a stranger tell you the same message that maybe your mom or your best friend might be telling you, it's, it's just going to click differently for people. For some people, they're very, very uh, motivated or very influenced by someone that is close to them. And some of us are more influenced by people who are just total strangers who actually know nothing about us to judge us, but also to give us a message that, Hey, you're not the only one going through this. There's other people. And that's why this video is out there for you. That is why I feel like I wish YouTube was around in my twenties. If I could have had exposure to 
uh, dating and relationships and all the things that you can accomplish and how to, you know, manage your money better and how to invest in real estate and how to dress better and how to appear more classy, but sexy at the same time, y'all. I mean, again, I can only imagine what the 20 somethings and younger will be like as they get older, because they really truly grew up on YouTube. Like my son, he's, he's on YouTube. I do have to monitor what he watches, but he's probably going to learn so much more and maybe even grow up a little bit faster just by watching YouTube, by watching other kids because he's a single child. I could just listen to this man speak all day long, <laughs> like seriously, all day long to really hear it from a man's perspective, a high value man, a godly man, and then to hear him talk about you know, really tell, like kind of rip some of y'all to a new one. Like y'all do not need to be dressing scantily clad to attract a man. And that is, you know, one of the things that, um, you know, just me going out, I still go out till this day. I mean, I live in Austin, Texas. There's so many bars and singles and things to do. You can't not help want to go out. With that being said, I have noticed in maybe about the last year and a half, when I go out now, I dress, I actually cover up more and I get hit on more. <laughs> Crazy, I know. And even the times that I've gone out with very little makeup, like the makeup I have on right now is kind of like, like I don't even wear, this is not how I wear makeup when I'm at home, y'all. I Sometimes I look ratchet and... <laughs> But when I go out, I have more makeup and, you know, I've just, I kind of do a little bit more with like eyeliner and maybe lipstick and, you know, maybe just like use a different, but speaking of this lighting is kind of horrible, <laughs> but this is not how I wear makeup when I go out every day, when I'm with my son, even when I go grocery shopping, he really teaches you to, it, it's all more about living in your feminine energy. He goes into very specific videos and a lot of examples about the things that women are doing to turn men off. Very much like the universe guru. She is like, both of them will not sugarcoat anything. Um, about, you know, and, and when I say, you know, obviously most people aren't sugarcoating anything on these YouTube videos because that's, that's the content they, they have to tell you the truth and that's you know that way you can learn what you want to fix about yourself or not fix or whatever some of the people i watch it's like the more unsugarcoated the better nobody knows what you're watching nobody knows that you're learning to become a better woman or you know uh, attract a better man or attract a better job or become out of debt. Nobody knows what you're truly watching on YouTube unless you are watching YouTube on Apple TV in which people have access to, you know, click on your profile and really see what you're watching. Other than that, no one really knows what you're watching on your phone these days. And that's the greatest thing about YouTube. You can go on there and get so much information and you do have to take things with a grain of salt, but the greatest thing about YouTube that I have found helpful is you can seek out so many options. I've always told people this phrase, you are never stuck. You are never stuck. Okay. If you think you're stuck, a lot of times it's just because you're in a, you're in an emotional situation and you just can't wrap your head around something that might've happened. So you feel stuck and for the most part, it's when those emotions, the high of the emotions subside that you are finally able to see the logic in things. And even a step further, I really think people who are going to develop resilience and a thick skin through life and actually enjoy life and the changes along with the challenges and the losses that it brings are the people who are then willing to go one step further and take a good hard look at themselves in the mirror and say, this is why I'm unhappy, X, Y, Z, this is what I want to fix, or this is what I need to fix based on, you know, maybe a few strangers said the same similar thing. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please give me a like and subscribe and see you on the next video.
Thanks. Thank you.